All right, so welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a middleware. So that way we can actually protect our routes. Because obviously we're going to have a lot more routes later on. But we don't want to let unauthenticated users to access it, right? If the user's not authenticated, if they're unauthenticated, then they should not be able to access it. So how do we do that? Well, well, first what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and just quickly create a new route. And this will actually prepare us for the next episode where I'm going to show you how we can fetch the guilds. So I'm going to create a new folder called guilds and I'm going to just literally create an index.ts file and it's going to look exactly the same as our auth.js file. So you can just go ahead and copy the import router from express, copy the const router equals router, and then copy the export default router. And then what we want to do is we're just going to register a simple endpoint. So I'll just do slash for now and keep in mind that all Endpoints in this router are going to be prefixed with slash guilds, okay? So let me go ahead and send back a 200. And let me go into the index.ts file outside of the guilds folder, but inside the routes folder. So this one right over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to import the guilds router from guilds. And then we'll do the same thing on line seven where we register the auth route, but instead we're going to go ahead and register the guilds route with the guilds router. So this will prefix all of the guilds routes inside this router for us, okay? And because we already registered our router, this main router inside createapp.ts right over here, we don't need to do anything else. Pretty cool. All right, so now if I go back to... If I were to go to the browser right now, and if I were to visit that endpoint that we just created, so slash API slash guilds, you're going to see that I get a an OK. Perfect. But what if I wanted to limit this route to only authenticated users? OK, well, right now you can see that if I were to go to slash auth, and if I were to go to slash status, you're going to see that I'm actually not even authorized. OK, so let me go ahead and write a middleware function that we can reuse on multiple endpoints that we want to protect. So that way we don't have to uh, ch manually check it every single time like we're doing over here. We can actually just write a middleware function. So what I'll do is I'll actually go inside utils. So let me just close this and close this. Let me go inside utils and I'll go ahead and create a file called middlewares.ts and I'll create a function. So or const and I'll call this is authenticated and this function is going to take in two parameters it's going to take in the request and the response object and we're going to return a boolean value or actually not a boolean value but we're going to do some kind of logic but first let me just type annotate these objects because we're using TypeScript and also because it's going to give us the linting error which is kind of annoying okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check to see if request.user is truthy. So if request.user is truthy, and I'm going to use a ternary operator for this. If request.user is truthy, we want to actually go to the next middleware function that's supposed to be called down the middleware chain. So if you think about it, Express is really just a web framework that's made up of middleware. So even this request handler over here that's sending back a response even this function is actually known as a middleware we can actually pass in another parameter okay and you can see intellisense says it's literally just uh it's just a bunch of handlers okay you can pass in as many as you want so if i want to pass in another one i could okay so the thing is though how do we actually call the next function so first off this function is going to be invoked first Okay, but and then after this function is done, this should be the next function that should be called. Okay, but how do we actually do that? Well, what we need to do is we actually need to take in the next parameter. So what do I mean by next parameter? I mean that there's a third parameter called next. Okay, and we can type annotate this using the next function interface. And this parameter is literally just a function that will literally call the next middleware function. Okay, I know it might be a little bit confusing, but it might help if I actually just, if I, let's say, for example, if I just took this, right, and if I were to just plug this in in between over here, right, I'm literally just doing the same exact thing. The only difference is 
that I'm just putting it in a named, I'm just, I'm just making a named function and I'm going to export it in that file. I'm going to import it here later. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure why this is giving me an error. Let's see what's going on here. Oh yeah. It's because I don't have the imports up there, but don't worry about that. But it, it's, it should work just fine, right? If I were to call the next function, it's going to go ahead and execute this function, which will then send back a response. Okay. So I know, just just wait until uh i know it's a little bit confusing but just wait until we actually see it in action and you'll understand a lot better okay so we're going to check to see if rect.user is truthy if it is we're going to call next which will invoke the next function down the uh the middleware chain and if rect.user is undefined we'll just send back oh we'll set the status to 403 and send back a message that says unauthorized okay now let's go ahead and import this function so is authenticated we will import that uh, right over here i'm just want to import that all right and now you're going to see what's going to happen okay so watch very carefully so i'm going to go ahead and visit this slash guilds endpoint okay so this one right over here so let's go ahead and go to slash api slash guilds right now and you're going to see right now it says unauthorized okay so what happened was I visited this route, okay, the slash API slash guilds route, and then it called this function first. If I didn't, if I remove this, right, if I removed it, let's just wait, okay, there you go. You can see that it calls this function, okay? I can also pass it, pass it in over here, but remember, middleware is called in order, so it wouldn't make sense to pass an is authenticated here, okay? So I'm going to pass that here. And the whole purpose of this middleware function is to check to see if the user is authenticated. Okay, and we check that by checking to see if rec.user is defined. If it's undefined, that means the session doesn't exist, the user is not authenticated. So we should, we should send back a 403 unauthorized message. Okay, let me actually send back JSON instead. Okay, now if we are authenticated, it will call next, which will invoke the next function down the middleware chain which is just this function over here, this anonymous function. You can think of it like these middleware functions are actually stored in an array or stored in some kind of stack. And once the function is called, it's popped from the stack. And then the next function that's available is going to be called. But that next function will only be called if you actually call the next function. So, and, I, and I'm literally saying next function as in like the this next argument, which is a function that is supposed to be called, which invokes the next function. Okay. So let's go ahead and authenticate. So let's log in. Okay, so I'm going to log in right now. Okay, so I'm, I'm logged in. Now watch this. I'm going to go ahead and visit slash guilds. And you're going to see it gives me okay. Right? You can see that it called is authenticated. And then you can see that it checks to see if rectile user is defined. And if it is, we call next. And if it isn't, we call res.status 403.send, and that's going to send us back a 403. You can also, uh, if this is a little bit confusing, you can also, what could also help is you can console log everything, right? And you can also just use an if else statement to kind of like, you know, help you visualize, you know, uh, visualize everything, right? Because it might be a little bit confusing um, if, if it's like new to you. So I would suggest just, you know, console logging everything just so you can uh, see it in action, right? So let me go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and refresh the page. And let's look at the logs. So if I look at the logs right now, you're gonna see that over here, it logs rec.user, okay? then it calls the next function okay and you can see that because it's defined we have calling next being logged right over here and then when we call next it literally invokes this function okay and then it logs success now we could also take in the next parameter here as well and then if we were to call next we could do that as well okay and then we can just pass in another handler which takes in the same exact parameters and we can just console log, I, I am finished with request and response. And let's see how this works. So let's refresh. 
okay you can see that after everything is done you can see that it logs the last handle so you can do this as many times as you want okay so i just wanted to show that to you very quickly just so that you all understand how exactly this whole thing works okay so hopefully this made sense and now you can literally just plug in this is authenticated middleware function anywhere you want okay and it will protect your api routes so hopefully that makes sense and i will see you in the next episode peace out